Howdy, folks. Welcome to Jersey Concept Friday. Welcome to Post to Post. If you are new, my name is Neil. Thanks for joining me today. We have got a special one today because we're looking at Cole Paw's work. We've looked at his work in the past. It was great. I'm really excited to see what he's come up with this time. Haven't seen these. This is going to be a reaction video. So we've got 32 NHL jerseys to react to, and they're alternate jerseys. The home and the away jerseys are fine, but whenever when some, someone does like a specialty series, like a city edition or a recolorized series or an alternate version of a series of the NHL, I love that. Like, that's awesome. That means there's a little bit more creativity usually, and uh, it's pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to see these, but I got some news for you guys, okay? It comes from sportstemplates.net. It's the template you're going to see in this video that Cole uses. But Sports Templates has sent me a little bit of a teaser of a new template coming out, and I want to show you. It's a flat lay NHL uniform design. So you've got the jersey front, jersey back, pants, socks, and there might be a little bit more. It's currently in development, but I wanted to show you what they sent me so far. So keep an eye out for that. And then Black Friday is coming up here in just a couple of weeks. And if you guys don't know, SportsTemplates.net only does one sale a year. It's not Christmas. It's not Thanksgiving, it's not, uh, you know, Easter. It is Black Friday, and it's a pretty big sale. So mark that date on your calendars. I'll have more information uh, on that for you next Friday. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. You're going to have a chance to save a lot of money on a lot of templates on the site. So it's an exciting time for, for designers. So let's get into this, though. Let's look at Cole Paw's work here. Like I said, have not seen these before. I will react to them. Starting off with Anaheim. And we're doing these in, a, in alphabetical order f as far as abbreviation. Let's go. You know what? The purple or the eggplant and the black look really good together with that jersey design, which we're familiar with. We're familiar with that design when it comes to Anaheim. The green is really throwing me off, though. Like, it's it's obviously a part of their brand and their their colorization and, and some of their jerseys. But it, I don't know. It doesn't fit here. I think because there's nothing else on the jersey to balance it. There's no green laces. Or there's no green in the neck or in the arms. It's just green in the middle and it's nowhere else. So I find it maybe just a little bit out of place. It also, also feels a bit low. I feel like it should move up, move up a little bit. That could be an optical illusion because it's that stripe kind of comes up higher than most other stripes in most NHL jerseys. But uh, that, that eggplant purple and the black look really good together in this, in this form. I might just tweak the logo a little bit. Moving on to Arizona. Whoa! I kind of feel like I've seen something similar to this in the past. Maybe it was just a dream, but... This is pretty bold. This, If the NHL or Adidas does do kind of another series, maybe it's reverse retro, maybe it's not, maybe it's something, maybe it's called bold, who knows. But I could kind of see Arizona doing something like this. This is very modern but classic at the same time. So really interesting approach. I love the neck. The neck is awesome. It definitely feels a little bit busy in the middle here, but really cool concept. Boston. Oh, Boston. Wow. Wow. This is strong. This has shades of their alternate jersey. It has shades of the Los Angeles Kings and San Jose Sharks Stadium Series jersey in the Reebok years from f five or six years ago. This is actually pretty awesome. I really like this. This is one of the best Boston Bruins concepts that I've seen. However, I can see someone looking at, at this and thinking, what, you're, you're splitting a jersey in half horizontally in two completely different colors? That's That doesn't even make sense. Like I can understand why someone may not like this, but it's just so different, but also similar to jerseys that kind of exist in the past, not necessarily for Boston, but in general. I think personally that it works, and I really like this one. Moving on to Buffalo. Oh, with the Buffa Slug, the Buffa Slug. Uh, but colorized, not in the Buffa Slug colors, but in the black and red colors, which they've used in the past. Oh, it's a little bit close to the stripes on the side. Do they know that kind of pattern coming up? I might just move that whole thing down a little bit or make the V a little bit wider. And the A, that you know, the patch on the shoulder there showing the A with the Sabres crossed. I know a lot of people don't like the Buffa Slug, specifically a lot of Sabres fans. And a lot of Sabres fans also don't like this color period that the Buffalo Sabres use. I like both. I was always a fan of the Buffa Slug. I have the jersey over there actually, and uh, in these colors as well. So I, I personally really like this. I would just tweak that, you know, the bottom section. But yeah, cool, cool design. Carolina. Okay, I really don't, I don't think that Carolina is going to go through with any more Hartford Whalers jerseys or merch. However, if they did, this is likely the only logical option other than a white jersey. This is very close to a jersey that has existed in the past for the Hartford Whalers. Uh, so it's 
you know, it's exactly what it should be. Cole made a really good decision here. I do feel like the logo is very low though. It's almost right on the, the belly button or something. I would just move that up just a little bit. Let's move on. Columbus Blue Jackets, man. It feels a little bit empty, I'm not gonna lie, because there's nothing on the shoulders. The stripes are very thin on the middle and on the bottom. Almost feels like a practice jersey a little bit, but I like the approach. I think things could be filled out a little bit stripe-wise, but I like the guy in the front, that's just awesome. The numbers are just slightly hard to read because that neon green is so bright as a stroke, you might have to add in a little bit of a, a black stroke in between or something. But uh, yeah, really interesting concept for sure. Calgary, oh, full flames. So this is this is why I like the alternate series, like I said earlier, series, that's not a word, alternate series, like I said earlier. Every alternate jersey that someone designs in a series is completely different than everything else. When someone designs a home jersey or an away jersey, they're usually very subdued and, and subtle, you know, regular striping, nothing too crazy. Where alternate jerseys, you get to have fun with it and bring it to life a little bit. And Cole has done that in a lot of these so far. This is the perfect example. Would this be a great home or away jersey for the Calgary Flames? Probably not. It's a little aggressive and a little maybe too modern and and not necessarily scary, but it's just... It's a little aggressive, but as an alternate, I think the team could have fun with this. I think I think the Calgary Flames could use something like this in the future. Maybe not for a lot of games, but maybe just a couple of games, you know, five or six games a year. It'd be cool for jersey collectors as well. So although it's not my favorite concept that I've ever seen from the Calgary Flames, it's pretty neat. I, I, I do like it. It's it's not too gimmicky, and it's all the flames also aren't uh, they don't feel repetitive because they're not the same shape. It's unique across the board, so it doesn't feel like it's being overused a little bit. It almost feels like real flames, so pretty cool. Chicago. Uh, I can absolutely see Chicago doing something like this, probably with a shoulder patch on here, though, but the off-white, the kind of almost old-school colors from way back in their history. Um, yeah, this, this totally makes sense. I could absolutely see them doing this. Like I said, just add a shoulder patch. Colorado. Whoa! That is close to, like... The stadium series in a way, but I, I think maybe better. It would be quite interesting to see how they would physically make this. I think the uh, the mountain or the burgundy in the background would be more of like a screen print or a sublimation print or whatever you want to call it. But the A in the bottom, because he's put a little bit of a bevel on there, it almost looks like that would be the crest. And that's a that would be a massive crest to kind of put on there. But really interesting design. I actually, I actually really like this. I think it's better than the... In the stadium series jersey so really cool idea cole on this one dallas oh I, I i wasn't expecting this at all i didn't it almost has like a military feel a little bit just because of the way that the numbers are done almost feels like a stencil like on the side of a plane or something and I, if i'm not mistaken actually their team store is called the hangar so maybe a little bit of a relation there the striping is okay it feels slightly candy cane-ish on the arms but uh, not not too bad, not not the favorite uh, stars concept I've ever seen, but pretty good. Detroit, oh, okay. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was City Edition jersey. I think the NBA has done it. I think the MLB has done it. The NHL has not done it. I don't know if the NFL has done it, but it's very plausible, or possible at least, that the NHL and Adidas could consider doing a City Edition jersey series. There's been rumors where a new series is coming out next season. It's been hypothetical that it's another reverse retro series, but if they wanted to do something different, City Edition is actually the most logical choice. And this would be uh, this would be a great choice for Detroit. It's not it's not the best jersey I've ever seen. It's actually far from the best jersey I've ever seen. I don't mean any offense by that, Cole, but it's almost perfect for what a City Edition jersey would be for the Detroit Red Wings. It's got the checkered pattern in the background. It's applicable. Motor City uh, on top. It's a little hard to read, but uh, I love the, the fact that it's black. And I think that's a different approach that uh, a lot of people wouldn't take with Detroit. The shoulder patches feel angled a little bit wrong. I would pro probably bring them down or tilt them down a little bit so they're even with this line of the shoulder here. But yeah, really interesting design at the very least. That's for sure. Edmonton. Oh, two-tone jersey. So Edmonton actually already has a two-tone jersey, but it's a you know a dark blue version. And obviously the logo is a little bit different, but it's kind of interesting to see a two-tone uh, version with no blue at all, just orange, just white. It kind of works. It feels a little bit empty on the shoulders. Let's move on. Florida. Ah, okay. So I feel, I feel vibes of Reebok, the Reebok years a little bit in here. You can see their 
a state flag being represented in the middle. That's what that is on the on the arms. If you've never known, it's the Florida state flag. So that kind of cross white pattern has been uh, resembled in the middle of the jersey. I like it because I like state flags. I don't know if the average person would like that on there. I feel like they would think that it was like two wrestling belts or something in the background. Uh, I, kind of average for me. I love the numbers on the shoulders. The Florida Panthers are one of the only teams to do that, so kudos to them. LA Kings. Oh, no. I mean, no to the logo for me. I don't like that logo at all. However, the gray, the purple, and the black do look pretty good together. Now, this general design of a jersey reminds me very much of the Winnipeg Jets jersey, but it looks better in these colors, in my opinion. The, the logo, it does not work for me, though, at all. It just feels... It feels too cartoony. It uh, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't uh, just doesn't work. I don't know how else to say it, but uh, yeah, let's move on. Minnesota. Oh, look at the pattern in the background of the stripe. First thing I noticed, I didn't notice the color change. I didn't notice the shoulders. I noticed that little subtle trees pattern in the in the in that backing stripe. I like that a lot. Also, off white being used, which is great to see. Shoulder patch patch looks great. Using a bit of yellow from the Minnesota North Stars days. This is a nice jersey. I feel like there's a bit of lack of yellow in the bottom of the sleeves, though. You've got it in the middle of the jersey. You've got it in the bottom middle striping of the jersey, the shoulder patch, the neck. It's just not in in the bottom. So maybe just a little subtle yellow stripe at the bottom of the sleeves. This is a strong jersey. Montreal is next. This is this is really good, actually. I, I really like this one a lot. I love the off-white. That makes it feel like an original 16. The only criticism I have is that the logo the backing stripe and the stripe on the arm feel too low. I would move them up maybe three inches, three or four inches up. And I think this is a very nice Montreal Canadiens concept. The fans would really like this. It's not too different from their actual brand right now and their jerseys. No shoulder patch, so nothing to busy it up at all. Really, really well-designed concept here, Cole. The Devils, oh my God. Wow, again, I maybe sound like a broken record. I feel like the logo is a little bit low. I would move it up. But this is a really cool design to honor the Devils history. So the Devils came into the NHL in 1982, and they were transferred from the Colorado Rockies, who used a variation of this jersey. It was very close. And prior to that, I believe they were the Kansas City Scouts and also used kind of a similar jersey, not identical. There was some striping here on the front of the shoulders, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the Colorado Rockies jersey and the Kansas City Scouts jersey, definitely, you know, there were no similarities. So for the Devils to pay respect and, and kind of bring that jersey back a little bit would be a really cool alternate design for them. Wouldn't match anything that they have now, but it would definitely be cool. I like this a lot, Cole. Nashville. Oh, that really threw me off. My like, It looks like a shirt within a shirt just because of the way that the... Uh, it looks like a t-shirt within... An, man, that's, that's weird. That was really throwing me off. I, I think uh, I think I'm being heavily distracted by seeing that kind of optical illusion there, and uh, for that reason I would say that I don't like I don't like this. The logo again feels low. The shoulder patch at being there not being any okay. I think it's probably hit or miss, but yeah, personally probably not a fan of this one. The Islanders oh, <laughs> anytime anyone okay, listen, anytime anyone designs a fisherman concept, I'm gonna be on board. I don't know how I could not like a fisherman concept. And this is one of the better ones because it's not it's not that classic wave pattern along the bottom, which I love. If the Islanders came back and used the wave pattern along the bottom, it would be amazing, 100% perfect. But this is another great option. It's This is a little bit more respectful, a little bit less gimmicky. You just got the fisherman logo on the front, regular general striping along the bottom. The deep blue in the background was a great choice. Another shade of blue on the bottom. This is a strong fisherman concept, a strong Islanders concept. I like this one a lot. The Rangers, oh, in black. Striping on the arm is good. Shoulder patch looks really good on there. Lady Liberty, colorized like that. Usually not a fan of just black and white monochrome jerseys, but this is something that I really like. For whatever reason, this kind of works for New York for me. I don't know why I can't explain it, but immediately, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this works. Ottawa. Does it look familiar? If it doesn't, search 2006 Ottawa Senator jersey on Google Images, and you'll basically find something that looks very close to this. It's a good decision. It was a very unique jersey back in the day. Back in the day is relative. That could be the 1940s for some people, but 
uh, back in the day for me is mid 2000s and 90s. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's not the best jersey that I've ever seen, but it is something that they've used in the past uh, or similar at least. The mismatching shoulder patches is probably the only part that I would be critical of. Uh, but other than that, yeah, cool concept. Philadelphia. Hey, not bad. I don't know if a lot of Philadelphia fans would like this, but I do as a Jersey fan and as a Jersey collector, I would absolutely love this. It is so unbelievably clean. Numbers inside the striping just being white. No shoulder patch. You could argue that this does look like a practice jersey a little bit, but I love how clean this would be. The pants should not be white. If this was a uniform, no white pants, guys. No white pants. Let's make the pants orange. The bottom of the jersey has a little orange stripe, bridges the gap into the orange pants, and then white socks, probably an orange helmet or a white helmet, orange gloves as well. I'd like to see a full uniform of this. It might look a little bit too white, but uh, I'd love to see it. Pittsburgh, perfect, it's perfect, literally perfect. You got my favorite logo on there, Cole. You got their original colors, which I love. Perfect striping, uh, shoulders, not having a shoulder patch, I'm definitely okay with. Uh, usually not a fan of the rounded style shoulders. I know I'm in the minority there, but I don't mind them here. This is perfect. Wouldn't change anything other than maybe add those those dashes that kind of come off that original, not original, but early 90s jersey that, that aren't on here. But yeah, this is this is a phenomenal jersey. Seattle. Oh, that is actually pretty great as a as an alternate because it's kind of similar to their jersey now in a way. Uh, the shoulder patch colorized like that looks so good. Uh, introducing the off-white and the green in there like it is using the kind of old school Metropolitan's logo on the front. Hey, this would be a great alternate concept. This is a great job, Cole. San Jose Sh <laughs> Um, wow. This is, wow. This is interesting. I don't think, th I don't think this would work in the NHL. Uh, I mean, I guess you think of the Anaheim Reverse Retro. That's kind of similar in a way. It would be physically made the same way. But I just, it, it just feels really silly to me. So I don't, I selfishly like it as a jersey collector. Like if this existed, I would 100% buy it for full price. But I don't think this, I don't think this is legitimate. I don't think this would work in the NHL, even as an alternate jersey or a specialty jersey. It feels a little bit too, it feels a little bit too gimmicky for me. St. Louis. Ah, oh, a little bit busy in the middle, but not too bad. I think the neck being that thick of red is probably a negative. I'd make that a little bit thinner, but it does balance nicely with the bottom of the jersey. The string, the backing strings are striping in the middle. It not lining up with the arm version of that is probably a miss for me. Uh, I like that logo in the front of the jersey. Average jersey concept for me. Tampa Bay. Whoa, going, going bold here, Cole, with this one. Not bad, not bad at all. It feels almost like a stadium series jersey in a way. A little bit more modern than a typical one. The logo's changed a little bit. Not too bad. I don't like the font chosen though. Probably my only critical point. Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh man. Again, kind of like the Rangers one. Soon as I saw it, liked it. This is great. The C is on the wrong side for Toronto. I think Detroit's one of the only teams that, that does that. Maybe Carolina too. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, Toronto does use the C on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. The numbers on the shoulders look great. The striping on the arms comes from something they've used in the past. A Winter Classic Reebok or CCM jersey, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, this is great. I really like this jersey a lot. It looks phenomenal in a uniform. Vancouver. Combining two brands within a brand. The skate jersey, which is probably their most popular jersey in their entire history, with kind of their new colors. But keeping the black in there, it gets lost slightly. It's a very deep shade of blue. It's a very deep shade of green and almost. So it gets lost a little bit into the black, but it does look pretty good. I would like to see a full uniform uh, of this as well. Vegas. Ooh, the chainmail pattern in the striping. Again, feels a little bit low. I move everything up. The alternate logo in there. Love the font that was chosen for the A. Uh, I'm probably okay with being no shoulder patches on there. Really good concept. I like this one. Winnipeg. feel like I've seen this one in the past. It's also a different quality than the other ones. It's kind of pixelated. I'm almost certain I've seen this in the past. I don't, Cole, I don't know if you put that in there by mistake or maybe didn't design anything for Winnipeg, but I'm 
very confident that I've seen this jersey before. I don't know when or where, but this looks very familiar to me. So, uh, I mean, I liked it. I, I, I originally liked it. I'm, I'm, I'm 99.9% .9 I've seen this before. Percent sure I've seen this before, yeah. I'm just gonna skip this one because I, it doesn't feel new to me. I feel like I've seen it. Uh, Washington, whoa, what the heck is this? This is actually kind of awesome. Uh, like I'm a little bit blown away by this. It's, you can see the star in there, like a big giant blown up star, split the jersey right in two. You've got that screaming eagle that's in there. It's busy. It is different than anything else that has ever existed in the NHL. But it is really cool. The opposite numbers, one is blue on one side, one is white on the other side, depending on the backing color. Uh, the Screaming Eagle coming over top of the white into the blue, it feels wrong, I guess, a little bit. I don't know if I'd move the star up or make it bigger or whatnot, but I'd like to see that whole logo sit inside that one color. But a really cool, interesting design. I think that was the last, that's the last one. So. Guys, give me a minute. I'm gonna go back through these, pick my favorite, and let you know what it is. Okay, I actually struggle quite a bit with picking my favorite. I'm just going back through them now. The Boston one, super strong. Uh, what else was there? There was the Chicago one I really liked as well. Uh, there was the Montreal one, which was very good. Um, the Islanders one was excellent. I really liked that. The Rangers one was good. So many good ones in here. Pittsburgh as well, Seattle. I think I'm actually gonna maybe do something that's gonna piss off some of my fellow Montreal Canadiens fans. I know I'm wearing the Islanders, but my Montreal Canadiens are my favorite team. I'm gonna pick the Toronto Maple Leafs as my favorite concept here. I'm trying to be objective as possible, trying not to be biased. And I look at this and I see so many positives, similar to a jersey that they've used in the past, but better in my opinion. It's got off-white, which represents an old school kind of original six team. Numbers on the shoulders, which isn't used enough. Um, an amazing logo that fits the theme of the jersey. It looks like an old jersey. The, the logo is also kind of old and classic. So I just think Cold has done a wonderful job here of putting this jersey together. Only criticism, see on the other side. That's literally it. And this would be so popular, I think, in the fan base for the Toronto Maple Leafs and jersey collectors. So Cole, you nailed it. And many other jerseys in this series. So thank you so much for sending them in. I really appreciate it. Guys, leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Let Cole know what was your favorite, what was your least favorite as well. Be objective, be constructive, don't be rude. Uh, feedback is really important to designers. So please take the time, if you have it, to leave a comment and help Cole out. And uh, let me know as well. I'd like to know your favorite in the, in the video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.